Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my, um, my Iron Brows Expedition playthrough. I didn't forget what my playthrough was for a minute then, honestly. <laughs> Where things are going well, well I say things are going well, we just lost a battle to the Skaven, but we're getting ourselves in a good position. Uh, bringing Forek over with the uh, model Dwarven army, which should destroy absolutely anything which looks at it in an odd way. Uh, so we're going to finish them off. We're going to take these guys out. And we're slowly buying territory off the Empire yeah, and making well, Mr. Thrans like us. Because he smells. Absolutely See? Not. He smells. He keeps not being nice to... You know, he, he won't trade with us or anything. It's really smoking and getting... Getting smoking annoying and old, I'm gonna be honest. Um, that's why we've got the mod on so we can buy all the crap. Time for a reckoning. Walls. I want walls everywhere. I know I don't want to spend no I don't want to spend too much money. I'm okay there at the moment. Because I want to save my money for buying stuffs and things. Stuffs and things, they are official Goodness titles, are guys. Uh, no, for buying new settlements off of the Empire. Uh, growth, please. Master of and Rivera. reclaiming all of the Dwarven lands from the evil Empire of Man, which has taken them. I mean, admittedly, they took them off Greenskins, but, you know, I can't complain too much. We are slowly trying to explore and find all of the other locations I need. But basically now we're in a really good Wind position. I don't need to do too much. I need to take character Omar. Uh, but we are mostly exploring to try and find all of the items we still need. Uh, which shouldn't take us too long. I'm going to squish Eshen soon. Finish them off. Capture all their things. I will deal with the Dark Elves while I'm here because leaving them behind me there is just foolish. Um... Oh, and Bretonia's come around. Ah, Skaven have snuck in there. Is dealing with Skaven over there. Perfect. So basically, I don't have too much to worry about at this point. I've said it now. I'm going to get some insane invasion, which is just going to destroy me utterly. It's just pushed that one. Ready. You can start heading all the way up there to work out what's going there. Hopefully it's still held by dwarves, which would mean I will almost certainly confederate it. On our way. Oh, that's why I popped that lord. So they were going to go and grab the stuff and I forgot about it. Not enough warpstone. What? Okay, maybe I'm not doing that. I'm done, I'll, I'll, I'll let the new Franz do that. Orders heeded. All ways are best. And we're still buying our way up here. Do you wish the so, uh, favor? Tonia, who Full I want to trade with, be nice to me, please. Oh, hey, you? finally. Right, Bretonia, Bretonia, Bretonia. Oh, it's Caron, because of course it's not Bretonia. And Karazakarak, how much will you sell me? Karazakarak, though. Seems surprisingly cheap, but it is the centre of all dwarfdom, and it is now mine once more. Nice. Substantially up my income, holy crap. That's, that's kind of awesome. What can I do? Hmm. Sorry, one sec. Hi, laddie. Off we go. Iron price. There we go. 
I'm not spending money because I'm buying settlements. I'm literally at a point now where I'm probably going to be able to just buy my way up the mountains. And okay, it's a little cheaty, but I'm rich. Why would I not buy the territory back off the Empire? I will buy the Dwarven territories back off the Empire in recompense for their honourable for their defence of the mountains. We will we will pay the them to uh, you've got regain some. our territory. Uh, no, non-aggression, yes. But nothing more than that. If I keep buying my way up as well, I'm probably going to get to the point where I'll be able to afford to basically, uh, you know, because we're making a lot of money buying these settlements. Rune Lord of Garakazul. Off we go. Aye. Hmm. What? And I've got another 16k. Let's get Mount Silver Spear sorted. Because that's one of the ones I need. Thing is, the funny thing is, I don't think I even need to keep hold of them. I know this is kind of a cheaty way of doing it, but I want to get to the, the end of the campaign, if I'm honest at this point. There we go. Pentagonal gear. Again. And we can reforge Morgrim's gear of war. Nice. By Morgrim, our artillery now has no equal. And let's get try and buy Crook back as well if I can afford it. If not, I'll be able to afford it next turn. But yeah, let's just just wait until next turn. Okay. It's all going nicely. He's heading north. I would be interested in trying this one on the Vortex map. And I'm probably going to try that at some point in the future. But, well, I might probably... I'll... Oh. No, I'll probably end up playing this, this, I was going to say I'll play it in free, but actually it probably, the mechanics probably won't work in free, let's be honest, because I doubt they're going to bring all the mechanics over, straight away anyway, they might slowly bring them over, but some of the bespoke campaigns like this, they may never bring the mechanics over, so. Hmm. Ooh. Tried and tested. We push onward. Got. It's just a pain in the butt to get around the there. Empire. And the Empire is going to capture there anyway. Be at peace, for that is all I ever want. Right. Reichland. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Sorry if you can hear things, I've got the baby monitor on because my um, son is in bed and I'm at home on my own and actually what I could hear on it was my daughter being home. So I can turn that off now. <laughs> I was a little worried it was a, a Sam running around. Um, Sam is my son, by the way, in Mount Greyhag. Right. Friends of the Empire, come. Let's try and pay the git off. By Sigma, no. Agreed. Can't be bothered to do all the messing around with lots of little payments. I know it's technically better, but. So his job is going to be to settle them. Hmm. 
immortality. There we go. It is such an odd little outpost territory, that, but I'm not complaining. I'm glad they finally fixed the trade bug, because there used to be an issue where, which, where it made certain factions really hard to play, because trade had to be able to get back to your main city. But just getting here seemed to open it up, so they fixed that. I missed them fixing that, but it's such a big fix. Because um, it means that, because playing certain factions, uh, trade became incredibly difficult as. Um, which kind of sucked. The rooms of wrath and ruin. That, it was literally, it was, um, the Dark Elves who start right over. Nope. Who start on these islands, I forget which faction they're called, but they were the ones which had the issue. Because literally, because you started on an island there, and you had to have a mainland connection to a port, and you could only trade with places. So it literally made it impossible to trade with them if you gave up your settlement in Nagarond. Um, which was your initial capital. Which kind of sucked, gameplay-wise, um, if I'm honest. Uh, I mean, things like that happen and are, are, are happen, and if they'll have had it on their list of things to fix, I am a QA tester myself, so I'm not going to be too mean about it, but still sucked. Interesting, they've been uh, dragged away. My axe thirsts for war. What? <laughs> Time for a reckoning. Oof, so for much corruption. Silly, super stupid, thrown together just to provide a bit more defense there. Okay. I might get to fight a battle at some point from this guy. <laughs> I want to use my new, shiny, ridiculously powerful army. I mean, it took me a while to get powerful in this. I am definitely um, well behind all the other factions, so... Interesting how much that's opening up for me now, what I can see. Where else does I actually need to get? And then I need to work out which how Dowie campaign I'm doing next. Mile. <laughs> nope. We are beginning to rival the Empire. Um... Oh. Hmm. Let's see. I've got to fight it. Oh, actually, before we do this. We've got all these shiny new things, don't we? Uh, so what does this do? Uh, it's okay. It's an army ability. What do the other ones do? I guess he doesn't need that, so we'll get the army but armor, armor, army ability.
Ah, so some of the other things seem to have been overall runes. Do I have any more runes of burning I could apply? I saw at least one in here somewhere. Rune of burning. Where are you hiding? Yeah, maybe not. It takes a turn to apply them anyway. Why does he have such a crap weapon? Make them pay. No, we really need that. Let's do this. <laughs> I think I suspect there's more than just him. Key thing here is going to be taking out their warlocks, and I've not really got a setup where I can take their warlocks. Plan is to literally just rip their walls apart with my artillery and flood in. Well, not flood in, carefully maneuver in. Grongne's well. Adarus. For the ancestor gods. First thing first, destroy that tower. <laughs> then I'm going to try and kill him as quickly as I can. Let the vengeance begin! Oop, not you. Just want to spread my units out as much for when they inevitably do the warp lightnings. Hit that one. The speed I kill these towers with is insane. And I mean, the runes are burning on these guys just make them that much better. Never mind, knock a hole through the wall. Right underneath him. I've never knocked a hero off the wall with by knocking a hole, and I suspect I may get a chance to do it today. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah! Right, hold fire. I want everybody replenished. Damn. Kill them. Okay, knock a hole in that bit. Fire at will. Power them. They used to have some walls here, guys. I, as you command. Charge. Nothing can stop us. We 
Okay. Moving forwards, because here we can get in a position where we can start shooting through these nicely. Basically moving my, uh... Stop shooting, you idiots. Move them up there, where they've got a better, bit of better angle. The rune's claw! Castle can Get moving! For the ancestors! On the way! Flame cannon! Shoot him! We demand blood! Never mind, they move back. Ah, it's time to push now. So what we're going to do is going to pull the iron breakers in here so they can start hitting them and then we'll move the hammers into the flank. Your shit. Fight. Torek, I am brown. Ready. Strike out. Nothing can stop us. Go. Let's get two through to start with. And my lords can push through as well. Okay, let's get the hammers into positions. So the key thing here is I don't want people to get too close together because I will, I will struggle them. And their AoE effects really do hurt. Right, you can charge up there. I'm going to get him round the back. That's what I was trying to avoid, though this is the perfect place for it, to be fair. Because they can drop everything they want on my lords. It's not really going to benefit them that much. Get on him. Hammerers, charge. There you go, that's gonna hurt, which is why I'm focusing their lord down now. Oh, 
I want you to try and push through. You're strong enough and powerful enough to push through those goddamn gutter runners. You're Bob my Carnosaur. No. Worth a try. Okay, get out, get out, get out, get out, Carnosaur, get out, you're you're getting overwhelmed. No, we may as well go for it now. I've i I've, I've I'm I'm committed. Go, 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 go. at least for now and pretty much we've got this we've taken some damage but not too much let's drop the artillery and start pulling them out I don't want them getting killed by any silliness you guys can move up to this gap to support these guys are gonna keep pushing through here I know there's a lot of scaven over there but that's not really an issue it's over guys kill them Breaking them as they get to us. Oh, that hurt. Stop them, you horrible dinosaur. I want to get him out of there now. This is, is just double time now, though. It's over. Nice. Oh, sorry, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, I've got a horrible feeling where I want to sneeze, but I can't. <laughs> a close victory, so it was meant to be a close victory, but I'm happy with that. We we did substantial damage to them. We absolutely devastated the walls. My dinosaur nearly got himself killed, all off on his own, but he did his job. Um. They didn't use too much warp lightning, which is what confused me there. It's a horrible thing about them. Because against anybody else, you can kind of just throw yourselves into the gaps much more, much safer. And to be fair, it's probably their warlocks, which did the majority of their damage there. And that horrible plague claw Caspel. This will do for starters. Go. Anyway, guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. And if you'd like to see some more and me finish off this campaign, please do like and subscribe, guys. Other than that, as always, an extra special thank you to my uh, channel members and patrons, Monsters Abound, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, and Jared Horn. With an extra special thank you to William Farmer for all of your support for the channel, guys. As always, thank you to everybody who's watched as well. Cheers, guys.